Hey everyone, my name is Nathan. I have been given an assignment to talk about <clears throat> uh, one of the cool BYU devotionals that have occurred on the BYU campus. <clears throat> and I found it very interesting. The topic that I am deciding to do is to date. I feel as if this is a topic that is always going around BYU campus. This talk was actually given on August 1st in 2000 by a Thomas B. Holman. And it's a talk titled, The Right Person, The Right Place, and The Right Time. In this address, he's speaking to thousands of college students here on the BYU campus. The culture of BYU is to date and to eventually find an eternal companion. And the word eternal fits the language of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, meaning that you are married and sealed in the temple. The experience of Thomas B. Holman is he was a professor of marriage, family, and human development. The feedback and the things that he was sending were for us to receive a message that we are today and to find the eternal companion. He was trying to teach us that it's okay to have many relationships that don't end up being the right one. In one of the sections, he teaches about how to end a relationship. Why do we date is from the video, I was able to learn that there's no right person. There's no one person. There is no one soulmate as we sometimes see in the movies. Everyone has their own faults, but most of the time students, especially in our 20s, look at other people's faults. He taught us that we are supposed to look at our own faults first, because if we expect perfection from our eternal companion, we better be perfect as well. But that is not going to work because we all have shortcomings. One of the first things that he teaches are is an A, meaning our attraction. It goes through these ABCs, talking about the attraction and acquaintance stage representing A's. Person's personality looks and spiritual conversion. These are something that we should look for right off the bat when we're going to try to ask someone out. We are to first, if we want it to excel into a relationship, seek and send attraction cues. Once we are seeking and sending and receiving these cues, then we are able to move on to the B stage, the build-up stage. In the build-up stage, there is a friendship that is developed first. Both partners to feel they are full and equal in the relationship. The friendship happens m long before the physical infatuation stage. There is something that is communication that is built up and you are able to not just focus on the physical touch, but you are also able to focus on the emotional and the spiritual and the intellectual qualities of the person that you are wanting to be around. Once you are able to do this, you're both able to be relaxed and not worried about, is this the one for me? Is this the eternal companion that will help me and once you are able to accomplish this B build-up stage, you're able to get to the C stage in which he calls the consolidation, the continuation, and mutual commitment stage. He speaks about don't go on in an endless dating game. Most of the time on BYU's campus, you see people who have five dates a week, right? Five dates a week. They're never able to just focus on one girl that they want to spend some time with, get to know, and eventually start dating that person. But if we do this, then we're going to miss out on the opportunity to just be in a relationship and maybe find the one for us. We have to be worthy to receive the inspiration he teaches. Once again, going back to the culture of BYU, being a church school, we are someone who, as a community, is focused on being able to receive the inspiration of the Spirit, the guiding witness of the understanding that our Father in Heaven has placed before us and the opportunity to choose for ourselves with the help of that Holy Spirit. We are supposed to seek multiple witnesses from, our from going to the temple, from prayer, from parents, maybe even the bishop of the ward that we are attending in scriptures. We are supposed to learn to discern inspiration from infatuation. Once we're able to do this, we're able to really know if we are just infatuated with their attraction of the other person, infatuated with the physical touch, or if we truly do love and care for the person for who she is or he is.
Once we're able to do this, we're able to make better decisions on our dating life. We are able to eventually find the eternal companion that everyone is trying to seek for.